up guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna to be reviewing a 2010 Mercedes-Benz S550 as you may see behind me now these particular cars one new in eight years ago came around $125,000 and that's in Canadian money and today with a car like this with a hundred thousand kilometers on it you can get them easily under 30 grand let me tell you you get a lot of car for 30 grand but uh, without ado we're gonna hop in we're gonna show you the main criteria the main uh, uh, features of this vehicle we're gonna take it out for a drive and uh, I'll share my opinion at the end well now in the car like I said earlier these cars came around at a hundred thousand dollars eight years ago it's a lot of money and you know for today's standards you would never pay a hundred thousand dollar for this car I mean there's no radar cruise control there's no blind spot monitoring there's barely a backup camera it's terrible quality uh, I mean the car is so old the computer your you is you can't even play music with your uh, with a USB port because the car won't recognize it the hardware is too old but luckily this car is extremely comfortable and it still offers a decent amount of features for its age and for its price for thirty thousand dollars yeah i would buy this car now the particular car i'm driving right now only has not even it doesn't even have forty six thousand kilometers on it but basically this car is eight years old has forty six thousand kilometers on it was worth a hundred thousand dollars and i can get it for twenty five thousand dollars it's a pretty good done deal the s550 has a v8 as almost 400 horsepower i think it's 385 or something and it gets this huge sedan up to 60 miles an hour 100 kilometers an hour in five and a half seconds which for a big car like this is pretty good but uh you know this is a really good car for 30 grand i don't know if i would have paid a hundred thousand dollars back then for this car because quite honestly probably back then it was pretty advanced but in today's standards I mean it's old it's really old but there's a cool things that I want to show you what's up guys so I'm in the back seat of the 2010 uh, Mercedes-Benz s550 and uh, let me tell you <sighs> comfortable so comfortable it really is incredible uh, you get heated seats not cooled seats unfortunately for that another cool thing is you get a mirror that gently and smoothly comes to you as I said a lot of room it's really uh, awesome and it's just really extremely comfortable fortunately they are not power operated but uh, you know still pretty comfortable after that you get a remote control so basically with this remote control what can you do well um, I guess you can control pretty much everything in the car but as you can see I am presently controlling the front seat so if I want radio for satellite radio uh, then I can put it up I mean I just put down and I can put it up I mean, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you can literally go to navigation and control pretty much everything. And if you're done with navigation, you just go back up and then you go to audio and then there you go. And I so as you can see here, I got three buttons. This button is to control the, real, the rear sunshade. These two buttons are for the windows. You do this and your own window rolls down. And then you click this button and the other window rolls down. Now, I can, both passengers can control both windows and the rear sunshade. What's also cool is you click it again once the window is up and your sunshade comes up. Same principle for the passenger. You do this, the rear sunshade gets up and it's decently 
dark in the back. Each cluster, uh, the speedometer is completely uh, digital. You can really uh, play with it. And uh, it's really, and I mean, you, you can go everywhere. You can, uh, you can call someone, you can control the phone, the audio. Uh, you, have, you can just have a normal speedometer. And I mean, this car is pretty cool. What I love also, I mean, these gauge clusters are old, but look at the RPMs, they're backwards. Now we're going to talk about the uh, center console and the infotainment system. Now the infotainment system still offers Bluetooth phone connectivity, satellite radio, uh, ra FM AM radio, uh, discs, um, and USB and auxiliary cord uh, audio. But like I said earlier, um, the USB, uh, it doesn't uh, recognize the phone because it's too old. Uh, but. Besides that, you pretty much have uh, a few standard equipment. I just mean it's not touchscreen. You have to control it with this to um, to have it. And the buttons are a little stupid. I mean, uh, vol this is the volume knob. If you don't know, well, I mean, uh, it's really hard. This button is really cool. You click this, and then you have the massage sheets, controls, and options. And it's really cool. You have all kinds of places that you can control. And then if you want the plain massage, well, you click on massage and then you want it none, slow and weak, slow and hard, fast and weak, or fast and hard. And you click this button and then the magic appear, happens. Quite honestly, um, it's really cool. I, I really appreciate it when you're driving long journeys this car is smooth as silk and I mean there's no better vehicle then you have phone pretty standard I mean uh, my phone's connected and you can dial like this but you can luckily also dial with this yes indeed this phone this car came equipped with its own integrated phone but you could all you can also dial the Bluetooth number with this pad not so so you can store a few things. You have the beautiful clock in the middle, the formatic badging. I'm sure if you had an XS63, it would say AMG. And uh, you got all the seats controls, lock control. And uh, one of my favorite features about these buttons is that you click this button right here that says R. And then with the magic of that button, you can control the passenger seat, but not only you can move it, but you can play around with, oh, you wanna, the, your friend's hot and you wanna mess with him? Just click this button and the heated seats are on. Huh? So I mean, it's, it's really awesome. So yeah, and is this, well, it's one of the cool buttons. You do this and you see the rear sunshade uh, coming up slowly it's taking forever okay air uh, has air suspension so i mean you have the button right here you click on that and then the car lowers itself you can also click this button right here that uh, under sport the sport suspension it says aromatic sport once you press it before we get on the road, let me just say, to switch gears is this stupid little thing. You want to reverse, you click, you put it up. You want drive, you push it down. You want park, you push the button. It's not my favorite design. You know, I like a thing, you middle and you just pull it and you, you feel like you've done something important and you feel like it's not the stupid computer. A uh, computer that's saying, yeah, well, you know, you could change the gears you know with a real shifter but uh, I'm not letting you you have to do it my way so I guess that's the way it's gonna be so now we're gonna get on the road I'm gonna drive this car a bit share my opinion driving the 2010 Mercedes-Benz s550 well first thing I can tell you is that this thing is so comfortable this it's incredible this car is eight years old and you don't hear little reeks you don't hear things that are loose, it's smooth, 
It's slight steering. Great power from this 5.5 liter V8. I mean, for sure. It's not the S63 or the S65, but this car, I mean, you don't need necessarily the biggest engine. I mean, zero to 60 miles an hour in five and a half seconds. That's sports car territory. And this thing doesn't have, compared to today's standards, a crazy amount of horsepower. I mean, today's big sedans, you have a V8 420, 450, 500 horsepower. This one doesn't have, the, doesn't even have 400 horsepower. And yet, it doesn't feel slow. You know, it just really feels good. And to be honest, if I had 20 grand, wow. If I had 20 grand and uh, I wanted to commit to, you know, maintenance and insurance and gas costs, because this car doesn't have a guarantee anymore. It's eight years old. So if something breaks, well, you're pretty much screwed. So there's a lot of commitment to getting. Yes, it's 20 grand. But if you do not, if you're not willing to pay more extra for maintenance and all the stupid stuff, well, don't buy this car. I mean, yes, it's a luxury car, and I mean, for people that don't have $100,000 to spend on the car, I mean, it's a great car. It drives great, it's smooth, it's okay technology-wise. Of when I was recording for the S550, actually, it's, it's a few weeks later, uh, been busy, and I had no time, but I was happy to get the Suburban video out. So my overall appreciation of this car is good. I mean, I would have probably had a different view eight years ago, seeing that, you know, maybe eight years ago, the car was still a really great car. But today, for $20,000, you still get, it's a done deal. It's a bargain. You get what was worth once over $100,000, for $25,000 and my particular example was you know I had around 47,000 kilometers on it and I've seen some with a hundred thousand kilometers for 24 23 depending and you know if you want an S63 from the era you're gonna go in the uh, mid 30s with the same mileage but the one I reviewed I liked it I recently drove a 2009 Bentley Flying Spur the Bentley Flying Spur has a W12 engine, and this S550 had a V8. Uh, the weight comparison is unbelievable. You, the Bentley, you feel the weight. It's heavy because you have more weight in the front, and you know it's just overall a more heavier car. You know the car has more wood, probably better quality leather, uh, less plastic, more metal, and that it's great. But driving the Mercedes, I just felt safer in it. Why? Because it feels lighter. And that's why I really like the Mercedes. I, I even like the rumble of a V8 more than I like the rumble of a V12. Except maybe when the car starts. So, my conclusion here. The car is 8 years old. So yes, it lacks a lot of features. Yes, it's 8 years old. Yes, it's a Mercedes and it's 8 years old. And Mercedes, when they get older, well, obviously, uh, we all know what how much money they cost uh, when they're off warranty. I mean, recently it got service, and I had the opportunity of seeing the records, and it costs uh, $4,000 for a basic maintenance, which is really, um, that's a lot of money. So, basically, if you want to get a car like this, I mean, I won't stop you, but what I'm saying is, be ready to spend a lot of money. And yes, you're gonna get a really good car, really fun car, you're gonna seem like you have a lot of money, even though you pay the same price as a well-equipped Honda Civic. But in the end, you're gonna be very comfortable, you're gonna have plenty of power, and you're gonna have to live with not being able to play music with your phone. But otherwise, hey, buy it. So thank you so much for watching. I have a special video coming out after this one. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a great hit. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, it helps a lot. And ring the notification bell if you want. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.